SDSU is honoring the first Latina in space. From now on, the West Commons will be known as Ellen Ochoa Pavilion. So let's learn more about her. CBS 8's Chris Grow live at SDSU now to tell us all about the ceremony and who is being honored there. Hi, Chris. Her incredible story took off right here. There's no other way to put it. As an undergrad at San Diego State, she graduated in 1980, and in a conversation she told us she never thought when she was walking the campus here that she would see her name on a building. But fast forward more than 40 years, and here we are, the Ellen Ochoa Pavilion. And Dr. Ochoa, her resume really speaks for itself. A lot of firsts and, of course, a lot of out-of-this-world achievements. She told us as an undergrad uh, that she had her uh, eyes set on going to space, but at first when she got here, she didn't really know what to do. But after getting her master's and then her doctorate at Stanford, she then went on to NASA and became the first Latina to fly to space. She then went on to make multiple trips. In fact, one of them was a trip to the International Space Station, then went on to serve as the director of the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. She was the first Hispanic director, only the second female leader. So this incredible career, which is still ongoing, needed a very uh, suitable dedication here at San Diego State where her journey started and here we are today. It's amazing. It's great to be honored. I, I can tell you when I was walking around this campus, uh, you know, 40 years ago, I never would have imagined that something like this would occur. So it's a real privilege. But of course, what I really hope is that it serves to inspire the next generation of Aztecs who are here. The next generation, who knows, maybe there is the next Dr. Ochoa walking the halls right now. Reporting from San Diego State's campus, I'm Chris Grow, CBSA.